Do you want to start? Hey, so. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was a famous person there. Hey, it's Cosmo Music, NAM 2022 live stream. We're doing it again. It's going great. If you have any questions, leave a leave a comment, leave a question in the comment section below. One of our support team will gladly get back to you with that. We're at the uh, boutique guitar showcase. We're going to speak to the curator, Jamie Gale. Uh, so let's go find him. We're gonna go this way. Okay. Okay. There's a cool guy rocking a safari hat over there. It's pretty cool. So we're gonna find Jamie. All right. Right here. All right, there he is. Hey. Hey, Ron. How's it going? Great. Good. Good to see Great you. Great to see you too. Yeah. yeah. So, are we rolling? We are rolling. So, uh, I told everyone that we're here at Boutique Guitar Showcase, and we're with the curator Jamie Gale. That's Hello. true. Hi, yes. Rob. Nice Hi. to see you. Good to see you again. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so why don't you talk about uh, the showcase, the Boutique Guitar Showcase, tell us. Sure. So the Boutique Guitar Showcase is made up of guitar makers from around the world who are making guitars that I consider to be unique world-class instruments that are contributing to the conversation of the guitar. So. Everything here has a unique feature, unique story, their approach to what's going on. If you see an instrument in the BGS that you think, oh, I know what that is, you're probably missing something. And so we work with unique guitar makers, but we also explore other avenues about the unwritten future guitar as well, which we have panel discussions on here. We have the world's first robotic citizen, Sophia, who's a UN innovations champion coming tomorrow to speak. We have ambassadors from UNESCO coming to talk about a culture of peace through music. Uh, the guitar is an icon of contemporary culture that succeeded the bounds of its utility. I mean, really, we're very interested in the ideas of guitar as a culture and what it what it means for us and, and what has yet to come. We love where we've been. We're excited about where we're going. Yeah. That's fantastic. So uh, we're, we're going to look at some guitars. We're going to talk to some of the, the builders. Or did you want to maybe, uh, maybe introduce us to Sure. Yeah. Are there some particular guitar makers that you would? Uh, We're going like to start with. Yeah, uh, Marconi. Oh. Yeah. These guys are great. They're family Marconi. from Italy. Come on. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Okay. Sorry. So, Rob, Guido. 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 Nice to meet you. Davide's in there behind you. Davide. From Marconi Lab. These guys are in the north of Italy, not so far from Milano. They have a, a wonderful company that was looking to make a new approach to the guitar and their egos have been fantastic. I think they're already, many of these guitars are, uh, well, on people's lists already. So, and he's a, he's a pretty good cook too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> hey Guido, fix your, uh, your tag. Yeah, we want everyone to see Guido's here. I'm with Guido. Okay, so let's talk about your guitars. Okay, okay. okay. The, the guitar design, uh, if you can see at the first, uh, first scene can be strange, but it's not strange. It's modular and ergonomic. That's the that's why the guitar has this shape and uh, ergonomic because you have to feel the guitar comfortable, comfortable uh, when you play this, and um, uh, modular because we want the guitar a guitar that can grow with you and with your style of playing. So the guitar uh, I can show you can um, can uh, oh sorry can. Uh, we can change the parts on the guitar uh, to be to evolve with you and with your style of playing. So we, we have a lot of customers coming to us saying, I have to change the guitar because I changed my style of playing, but now you can change all parts of the guitar. You can change the electronics and you can change the part, the shape of the armrest to have something more comfortable if you do mostly tapping or if you do other kind of playing, picking and at your choice. And even the neck pocket is shared between six, seven, and funnel and standard scale length. Yeah. So if you want to to switch this guitar to be funnel, you have only to buy a new neck 
and the saddle can slide in position and you have a fun at bridge, a fun at tremolo bridge. So you can have uh, two guitars at the price of one because the guitar can grow with you. Uh, every NAMM show we try to find something new to show and this is very important for our company because we like to introduce new features and we like technology and bring the technology from other uh, world to the world of the guitar. Uh, and so for example this year we have two new colors. Uh, this is the, the pink, oh sorry. Let's look at this one here. Okay. Uh, th this color is the, is the pink. Uh, it's the pink uh, blue and uh, is a strange name for a strange color and because uh, if you want to be seen on the stage this is the perfect color because you can see from everywhere and we use this technique is painted it's not printed it's wood and we do this paint job is very long and expensive in time to do this uh, we have every time different uh, a different result because it's very random uh, this, uh, this bass is a five-string bass featured with uh, lace pickups, very uh, wide-range pickup, so you can have all the frequency out from the pickup. Easy, passive, very simple. So volume, volume, and tone. It's headless, and here we have both bearing, so it's very, very, very smooth. You can move just with two fingers. It's very, very, very easy to move and tune. So forget about the bass, the head of the bass. You have to uh, be um, very, uh, you need brute force yes. to, to tune the bass. Okay, and this is, uh, this is our classic model. Uh, it is one of the, of the model where we show the wood uh, outside here we have a top in Bobinga, and we have um, uh, uh, poplar for this part uh, of the body, lace pickups, and here we have a full. This guitar is full featured, so here we have uh, the piezo saddles and uh, also the GMR pickup. This is not the truss cover, the truss rod cover. This is the GMR pickup. Yes. And question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So one of the one of our commenters is asking right now uh, if uh, if it's modular. Uh, if it's modular. It's modular. modular. Yes, it's modular. Yes, yes, yes. it's modular. Uh, modular is the main topic about the design. Uh, we love to do this modular so you can upgrade. And every upgrade we introduce is backward compatible. So uh, you can improve the instrument. Even for example, if you buy instrument. The old bridge can be updated to the new standards that we introduce. This is important because if you buy the guitar, we don't want you to get frustrated because you have to buy a new guitar. So, uh, about the pickup, I was uh, saying that this GMR is very important. This is a coilless pickup, and the sound is something you have to to listen to uh, because I can't describe. It's just uh, um, sharp clear and in front of you when you but if someone can uh, can get to Cosmo to try this you have to try this because it's something I can tell about you it's very an experience but if you listen to this one every other pickup sounds smarty really uh, here we have the piezo saddles these piezo saddles are designed with a pre-compressed structure so when you do dive bombing you don't lose the volume and we have our electronic inside this. We designed the, all the electronics that we use in our guitars. You have, you can have two signal parts. You have the piezo signal combined with the uh, magnetic uh, signal. Uh, if you plug in a mono cable, but if you plug in a stereo cable, you will have the signal split to do different parts. So you can have uh, your acoustic amplifier and your electric amplifier at your choice. And here you see another new color. This is called Splash Wave. I don't have. Uh, you, is a, uh, yeah, you yes. Very yes, yes. And and we are start using the matte finish. It's cool because with the matte finish, uh, you don't have um, the glow of the light, and you can see the artwork much better. So we love this kind. This guitar uh, is featured with Bernacco pickup. Those pickups are from UK. Is a sound that is more standard. The lace is a wide range pickup. It's very difficult from the standard, very sorry, different from the standard pickup. 
here is a more standard than Bucker. You, we have the, a split coil here, you can split the coils, and you have volume and tone. Very simple, very easy to use, or is passive. Here you see the threshold cover, because here we don't have the GMR pickup. So we have both, and here we have uh, here we have this guitar. This guitar is full featured and is featured with the GMR pickup, the piezo. But I want to show you the back of this guitar because yeah, I want to see the back. Yeah, uh, sure. let's show them the back. I know there's lots yes. of features here. Yeah. yeah, you can see we 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 try this new technique on the wood. Uh, it's like we print on the wood in full color. There is no medium between the wood and the color. And so it's very difficult to reach, but this makes the color transparent and brilliant uh, and glowy. Yeah. And here we have the paperless certification, so you can read with your phone and retrieve all the data yeah. about the guitar. That's what I wanted everyone to, to see. Yeah. Thank you. There, there's yeah. another feature on the front, on the tremolo, I want you uh, to explain. Okay, if we can show okay. This level. I, yes. Is that, is that a. Can you explain that feature? Yes, that is a level ball to check the correct uh, bridge position very fast and check it uh, even during time. So you can have a fast check if the bridge is really well level, is really well set up. Uh, it's very easy feature uh, to and we introduce this just to make something that you already do faster. So it's very easy and and yes, it's an eye-catching also. Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> we, have, we have another question. Have another question. Yes. Um, a viewer wanted to know what's the inspiration behind the headless design. Uh, the, oh, the bridge. Uh, the, bridge uh, the bridge is made for us by an Italian company. It's made for solid brass. The company is called T4AM. Uh, they already do uh, headless bridges, but we have this made with our own design because we changed the design of the blade and we have I want to show you, there's a good chance to show you, we lock each spring with a, with a screw okay. grain here, so everything is very uh, consistent and firm, um, and that is not in the original design of the bridge, and we have the Paiso saddles, those are designed in our workshop. And we have a special tools that we provide with the guitar, so you can make the action easily with the string mounted. So. And, uh, and we have a special made uh, pivot for us, uh, very hard material, so yeah, like that. that's, uh, that's one of the important features. And now if you now we are introducing a system to track the guitar if it gets stolen and you can track the guitar everywhere, everywhere. And so this is very important. Even if you are a collector, you can retrieve all your collection if it gets stolen because you have an ego guitar inside. Can you also explain the stripe here too? That's yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the short answer is is that is for the neck uh, is programmable um, programmable um, stiffness of the neck. So we can usually when you make a three piece neck, three piece neck, the neck will bend where the wood wants. But this is yeah. not what we want. We want the neck to bend in an exact position. So reducing the wavelength, you can make the neck bend where the wavelength is minor. So uh, the neck, this neck will bend in this area. Uh, and this is very important. So we can manage about where we want uh, the elasticity of the neck. Uh, that's the reason we call this programmable and assist the neck. This neck is also featured with AVS, a symmetrical variable shape. So the midpoint goes from here to here. And it's very comfortable. Uh, it's not something that you can, that you feel during playing. You feel only better. That's, that's why we like this. Uh, and I think that uh, this kind of construction came from a, an error because okay. we made we wanted to make a wavy joint to make more robust during here uh, to make the endros of the neck uh, to last the neck last longer uh, so uh, we introduced this kind but with a, with a fixed wavelength but it was the stiffness was too high the threshold was not working correctly so we tried to move we reduced the wavelength and we see it was more flexible and then we mix it those two right. to make it bend where we want that's why that's the reason that one of our unique feature i didn't see this anywhere so and i hope 
this will be in the next future. So definitely a very highly engineered neck. Uh, er everything about the guitar, you could see, you know, like how, how being so modular and, and everything. So, and this could be a fan fret too. Yes, yes, and uh, you don't have you have, you have only to change the neck. The the um, the bridge is already uh, ready to be funneled. The saddle can slide in position, and this year is also a special year because it's our 20th anniversary, and we are very proud of this because it's 20 years that we are working on guitars, and so we have a special guitar with this special part and all these models. So this year will be special models. That's fantastic. Guido, thank you so, so much. Okay, I think uh, we're probably going to move on now. Okay, I got it again. Thanks, thanks again. Thank and you, so you know what? I also want to give a shout out to Davide. He's got the best hair uh. here at NAM. You got to <laughs> tell him. Where is he? Davide is not yeah. here. Uh, it's okay. No. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll have to find him. Yeah, just, no. Probably is going to land. Yours is really good too, <laughs> but uh, Davide has got the best, the best. Anyway. Sorry, don't tell if he's in the loud voice. Or... Sorry. It's <laughs> all right. He can, okay. he can give me too much ego. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's why it's called that. Okay. Yes, anyway, yes. Let's do that. Okay. All right. Thank you so Widow. much. All right. Thank you. Ciao. All right. We're going to move on. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. You okay? No, it's okay. Did you talk about this one? You're okay? We, we yes. did, yeah. Perfect. That was a very, very cool guitar. Thanks a lot. All right. We're going to move on to uh, Ava guitars. Ava? Yes. Hi there, Rob. Hi. Rob from Cosmo Music. Uh, we're live streaming, so. Uh, Joe. Joe. Joao. Joao. It's a Portuguese name, so. Joao. Okay. Yeah, it's. I hope I, I hope like I got that right. John or Juan okay. or something, but the Portuguese, Portuguese way. So, we are a company from Porto, Portugal, in the north. So the port wine will know the, know the yeah. city for that, and um, me and my partner Julio. Julio, come here. <laughs> Julio, hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Nice to meet you. So actually, we, we met each other uh, when we were in the study engineering, yeah. and we did we did to learn engineering by studying guitars. So we started studying structures and acoustics yes. and processes, manufacturing everything, and um, we wanted to do something in carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Okay. And you realized that everything that was done in carbon fiber was not very well presented, was looking like a cheap product, or, and they wanted to do something very classy, something that where we can show that if you work well on material, you can do organic, uh, you can do high-end stuff, you just need to think well. And uh, also this comes, Julio helped me with this comes because we also own a design company. Yeah. So we look for each piece has to fit uh, the, its purpose on the on the guitar. So Joao, let's let's see the let's see the these instruments. Um. So you want me to explain it? How, Please. How they are yes. made? So um, this uh, is uh, inspired on the Les Paul, of course, okay. but uh, actually it is technically it's it's much more ergonomic, I would say, much yes. more thinner, lightweight. But it doesn't lose its uh, heavy behavior. Uh, it's a one-piece carbon fiber, okay. hollow body, uh, and you can see. So actually, we start by designing the back. Okay. The back was designed before the, the front part. Um, we are using uh, Seymour Duncan, but also other brands, uh, pickups. Uh, designing our own hardware. So every guitar. Can I, can I see how my yeah. It's like oh seven, my God! Seven and a half oh. pounds. Is yeah. light? Yeah, it's very, very light. Live weight test. This is super, super light. Yes. I could say the first uh, yeah. body body shape that we made without hardware weighted like one pound, or uh, it was too light, yeah. and we had now we have to balance it and make it uh, uh, easier for the musician. Otherwise, people won't won't, won't buy it. Yeah. That's for all those Les Paul players that are playing those twelve pounders. And so. Uh, each of these guitars is uh, is unique. They are right now. It's a very. Um, we are making one by one guitar. So uh, the process is like making a custom suit first. We cut okay. fabrics, and then we put on a mold, and then we bake it. So half is is making a suit, half is baking, and in the end, of course, setting everything, trying to make it fit uh, perfectly. 
stiffness of the neck, the, the choosing of the pickups, the wiring. Each guitar has its own, uh, its own character. Uh, the neck, does it have a truss rod or it's reinforced somehow? So, so the first guitars we made, we had no truss rod because uh, actually it's very stable material. And if you don't change the setup, you don't, you don't need to, to have a, a truss rod. But of course, because every musician is it's, it's different, you have to set it up. Or maybe if, you, if a store will sell and wants to fine tune it. And actually we have a double action truss rod here, so you are free to, to do whatever you want. It's going to make an announcement. If you have any questions, leave a comment or your question in the comments section below. Our, our support team will gladly uh, answer your, your questions. Uh, um, so, uh, how about this other guitar here? So here, here it's a, this is also carbon fiber, but it's fully painted. So if you don't see it, if I give this guitar to someone, they will not find out that it's carbon fiber. So actually two years ago at the NAMM show, People were asking which kind of wood are you you using, and we would say nothing. No, yeah. Please try it and uh, give me your feedback without knowing. And Just tell them carbon wood. Yeah, yeah something. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, th 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 there is a lot of emotion in, yeah. in this. So. We got a pretty good question. Yeah. Oh, great. We have a question. Oh, okay. Uh, is the neck fully carbon fiber, or is it being fused or wrapped with other material? No, the neck it's uh, full carbon fiber. Full so carbon fiber. basically, uh, we have a, a, a back a back part and the front part that, that are glued, but it's full carbon fiber. What we do is that we we have this woven textile and then we have unidirectional carbon and we mix it to get the, the right uh, stiffness and the right behavior for for each guitar. So basically, we can make a, a thinner neck uh, stiffer if we if we want yeah. or. Uh, a thicker and yeah. less stiff. So we have the experience of a hardwood in a lightweight guitar. Yeah. That is the challenge of so the, achieving the so carbon just say fiber. That one more time, I, I okay, it's it's it's, it's like having a hardwood, yes. but with a lightweight guitar, um, because carbon fiber allows it to 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 have it. Yeah, because we have a a, a, a lot of strength with a lower weight. And that is the management that we do here. Yeah, that's fantastic. So I think. Uh, uh, Joao, thank you so so much. Okay, thank I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. Okay, Julio. All right, thank all right. Take care. Much. We're gonna See move on. All right, take care. Thanks, guys. All right, all right. That was great. I have a guitarist. So I think we're going to. I don't know where we're going next. I'm just gonna follow Chris. We're gonna go over here. You know. Yeah. So here we are, streaming live, walking sideways. Hey guys, how's it going, man? Alrighty. Okay. This is pretty cool. We're gonna talk to. We're at the OPEC guitar booth here. Yeah. Sir. Hi, I'm, I'm Rob. Nice to meet you, Kazuma. Kazuma? Yeah. Nice Kazuma. To meet you. Yes. Okay, so we're here uh, with Kazuma Hi. of OPEC Guitars. <laughs> we're streaming live. Don't forget, if you've got a question for Kazuma, please leave your question in the comments section below. Uh, I'm sure Kazuma would gladly love to uh, gladly uh, answer your question. So Kazuma, please Hi. tell us about your guitars. Actually, our brand name is part of OPEC from Tokyo, Japan, and uh, hand brand, handmade and boutique guitar guitar company. Yes. And uh, we established this brand uh, three years ago, and uh, brand new, still brand new. That uh, also this is our first year uh, to stand at the boutique guitar showcase. Yes. And uh, we put uh, three different guitars and basses, yeah. and uh, the middle one. This is our flagship, flagship model. It's named uh, 12 Laker Mark I. Uh, hand built by three guys, three master builders in Japan. Yes. And also, you can see the sparkle finish. Yes. Uh, this is a custom shop. Also, the scale or the medium scale, like Gibson, and the headstock, uh, 40 degrees, yes. and also, this kind of part is from Greece and from America. Okay. Yeah, and this pickup also hand wired from North Carolina. It's named the Magneto Design Laboratory. It's a hand wired yeah. uh, small company. And uh, yeah, actually. That's a very interesting neck joint there. Ah, yes. So, yeah. This is a four point. Uh, actually, this is the only heel cut. 
uh, yes. because uh, everybody want to try to play the hard, you know, high position. Yes. So very easy to reach the high position. Also, we put the three, uh, the plates on the three position. It be, it's good resonance for the body. Yes. So it's good vibration. So I designed this one. I also designed this body shape and pickup configuration. Anyway, customer can select uh, the, their favorite, your favorite color, um, solid, and uh, metric on the sparkle. If yes. uh, everybody you want, also pick up configuration, pick card, uh, uh, fingerboard. Everybody can choose. Yeah. So this is. We have some nice switching going on here. Can you explain the switches? Ah uh, yes. Actually, this is a volume knob, tone knob. Also, this is a three-way switch. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this one is uh, for middle pickups. So That's an add, add middle pickup? Yes, um, uh, middle switch control, okay. three-way, and uh, this is three-way. And uh, the bottom, uh, the, this is the middle pickup, is off. So it means uh, this position is only neck. And the uh, center position is uh, neck and uh, bridge. And the down is the bridge. Ah, okay. And the middle position, this is the middle pickup on, the mix. So for this meaning, uh, this position and the neck and middle pickups, yeah. and all on and uh, bridge and middle, and uh, this position only middle switch act activated. So this is only middle. So and uh, this is a phase switch for neck and middle. This is a phase switch for between the middle and the bridge pickup. So you can make a superty kind of sound yeah, on this you guitar. Get some great, great sounds. Yeah. Great look. Yeah. Great sound, I'm sure. Yeah, bass style, sound making. Yeah. So nowadays many young customers uh, just purchase this one for recording, yes. studio recording. So and uh, for uh, as a, a jamming, yeah. actually many people want to uh, play the Telecaster, Fender, uh, like a more in variety kind of sound. Yeah. But only bring this only one guitar. Everybody can make a so variety kind of sound for jamming. So it's pretty useful. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this is our flagship model. Also this Ooh, one. Let's talk about yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yes. This is our brand new bass uh, called uh, Stormbreaker. It's a uh, uh, the scale is 31 inches uh, between the medi uh, medium and the short scale, uh, pretty small. Uh, also, uh, this pickup uh, from America and uh, this is a Guild uh, Biosonic uh, single coil. But this one is a Selec uh, bass uh, custom shop P90. Also, two volume tone knob and a four-way rotary switch. So this one also by the kind of sound you can yeah. make. So pretty unique guitar, just released. So now we're looking for a dealer, uh, in a maker in the Canada and every country. So hopefully everybody yeah. like it too. For sure, for yeah. sure. If there are any that's questions. That's the third one you've done? That's, that's the second one. Okay. Uh, no, I mean, you oh, talked about all three guitars? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll get you ready for the next okay, one. Okay, sure. All right, any questions, please leave a question in the comments section below. Our support team will gladly get back to you. All right. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. One more time. Uh, arigato Kosomo yeah. Music. Yeah, Arigato Kosomo Music. Yeah, hope to see you in Canada yeah. pretty soon. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Arigato. Arigato. All right. All right. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, 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 that, no. That, that was it's excellent. Okay. Hi, Rob from Cosmo Music. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Michi Michi Matsuda. Michi. Michi. So we're we're streaming live uh, uh, to Cosmo Music. So uh, anyway, if, could you would you like to talk about your guitars? All right. Yeah. So this guitar is my. Uh, prototype instrument I made in 2013. I'm a flat top maker. Flat top acoustic maker. Most of the time I make flat top guitars, but I'm got interested in electric guitar side. So this is the one prototype for the electric instrument. But still I wanted to have an acoustic tone. So it's got acoustic tone, but it's electric. So basically uh, Actually, we'll do that one more time. Can you strum that one more time? Yeah. That's it, acoustically. Yeah. yeah, so this, it's got only an acoustic soundboard, but no acoustic body. No body. 
body, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's how I to the guitar. Uh, so what what uh, what do you have going on here? Yeah, uh, the soundboard is <coughs> sorry. Soundboard is double double top construction, and the face is spruce. And the backside is balsa, and the no mix honeycomb structure in between. And that's it. No sandbox. Yeah. And the other structures, yeah, that's the main two beams kind of go through okay. the body that connects to the guitar neck and the tuna sections. And this is something against your body. That, yeah. It's really yeah. Really and good. this soundboard is, it's not glued on. It's kind of fitting into the frame. This two section is the frame. Machine heads look quite unique too. Yeah, I made a uh, tuning button, but this yeah tuna itself is a goro. Well, the tuners are goro, but, but you you made the buttons. Yeah, I right? made buttons. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, very very nice. Jeff, you have another guitar you can show us? Yes, it's a butt side. Uh, okay, we're gonna look at another masterpiece from Michu Michi. All right, let's go. Okay, Michi, if you can explain uh, this guitar here to us. Uh, this is the showcase guitar. And this guitar itself, my uh, my popular, Matsuda guitar's popular, one of the popular model, I call it M1. And this guitar stand, this is art piece I made for the show. It's a display show, display uh, okay. stand. Uh, then uh, it functions, everything functions. When you turn it on, it blows the air into the guitars and then injected air, you can add it helium gas into it. So we know the helium, helium with the helium gas, you can change your voice. Yes. So you can kind of give you an image, in maybe changing the guitar sound with the helium gas, oh. but you won't. It's kind of joke piece. It doesn't change anything, oh, okay. but it's, it's functions. So that's kind of fun. Uh, Art piece, but the guitar, guitar is uh, it's a recycled project guitars. And from recycled material. Yeah, it's yeah. a recycled material, and I collected it all cut off pieces and uh, leftover pieces, basically scrap pieces in my shop, and put those together into the one guitar. And yeah, let me let me get that out. Okay, he's gonna grab the guitar. <laughs> So the spruce top is also, it's a different type of spruce. Yes. And this half is not big enough for the half of the guitar size. So center line is not center. And it's all kinds of pieces. I found it in my shop. And this top side is walnut. The other side is cocoboro, oh, yeah. maple cutaway. Yeah. And the guitar back has a three pieces. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I found it in my shop. Wingy, and this is probably Asian rosewood or either Kokoboro. And neck is also, I. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, Thank you. This thing is beauty. Yeah, the, also multiple mahogany cut off pieces. I put those together for the uh, guitar neck. Michi, the, the, bridge, the, the bridge looks very special. Can you explain what you did with the bridge here? It's bridges. Oh, this saddle. is my standard. Yeah, this is my standard saddle. The bridges and saddle. I, I like carving. So many. Yeah, my flat top guitar has a, this kind of shape. Yes. Bridges and I like to use quarter inch wide saddle. And this holds up. Uh, it's reducing the weight. And um, I guess this rosette too. If you can explain that to us as well. Yeah, I like. Each guitar, my flat top, each flat top guitar, I make different type of rosette, and yeah, this is also little pieces. Are also, it's a leftover piece in the scrap pieces I found it. So then I like to explore variation of the rosette. 
So each my guitar has a slightly different type of rosette, and I like those kind of segmented and sort of fragmented, segmented style of rosette. It's my signature, one of my signature. It's absolutely beautiful, very delicate with these very thin lines here. You know, it's just gorgeous. It really uh, sets the guitar off. So, Michi, thank you so, so much for showing us your your masterpieces here. They, they look absolutely beautiful, all right? Um, all right, so we're, we're gonna head a very, very nice meeting you. Thanks okay. so much. All right, thank you. All right. We're gonna move on, guys. All right. We're gonna go for a walk. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, Michi, thank you. Thanks again. All right. Thank you. Come on. We're gonna go this way. Go for a walk, Rob. Let's go for a are walk. Are you ready to, yeah. to go okay. through the crowds? Yeah, I'm ready to go through the crowds. I'll it's run, actually not uh, too I'll bad. Run, <laughs> run flank. I'll run, what do you call it? Defense? I think it's defense, yeah. All right. That's right. There's some stunning instruments here. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Here we go. Awesome. Okay. Here's our here's our next exhibitor. Okay. Awesome. Hi, hi, hi Bruno. Nice Rob, Cosmo Music. Yes. Very nice to meet you too. This is. Bachi? Bachi. Bachi, Bachi is correct. Bachi, okay, Bachi fantastic. Guitars. Fantastic. Uh, so, Bruno, can you uh, tell us about Bachi guitars or your guitars, what you have here? Oh, yes. I um, I have these baritone guitars which are with me. And uh, the reason why I'm making guitars is to make the people happy. Okay. I want the, I want the people smiling when they start to play and have the, 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 the passion on them you know yeah. and uh, we introduced Mark Letteri <laughs> come here Mark is one of my biggest players hey hi everybody Mark Letteri yeah never heard of him all right hey thanks man all right I'm a fan of this rig you got here this is like oh thanks man appreciate it thanks well hey it's all his fault right yeah. I didn't know what you guys were even saying. No, that's, I totally cool. no, to, no, Sorry, that's totally cool. Yeah, jump in any time. Okay, sure. right. okay, Bruno, take it away. Sorry? No, you can continue. We'll, okay. We'll talk about your I guitars. I can tell you how to, to build it, but you you need to ask him how to play it. Because he knows how to play it. Because uh, I I really love to make handmade instruments yeah. for forever if I can, of course. Because uh, when you're working on the wood, the most important thing is hearing the sound of the wood when you're taking out something. And uh, you can feel a lot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I feel good. Uh, you feel a lot when you're working on the neck and on the body, you know. But mostly on the neck, when you make uh, the shape, the back shape of the neck. Bruno, let's see the guitars. Let, let's see the guitars. Let, okay. Let's get you over here. Okay. It's better, better we do that. Yeah, you know what? Because they're tired of looking at me, right? Because they're saying, get that guy out of there. Right? Which one do so, you want to do? Uh, uh, any preference? Uh, you know, let, let's let's start on the end here. This okay. looks Is this gorgeous. rose gold? Rose gold color. This is part of Italian cars, colors. And um, it's made my maple, flamed maple neck. One piece of alder. And the neck plate is inlaid for don't make noise when the people they play. And uh, this is it, you know. When when you feel the neck must to be, it must to wear your hand perfectly, and you have to feel good when you play it. Yeah. Uh, this guitar has two different outputs. Yes, explain that. One is working with this pickup, which is taking three strings okay. and one volume, and the other system is the guitar system, where you can play like. A telecaster sound, you know, volume, tone, and switch of three position. One is this in the, in the middle of two disc cups, and the neck, and the bridge, and the bridge is that. And you can have a huge sound when you plug together. A very fat sound, a very powerful sound. You can have a pedals on the guitar system and have a clean bass. 
and play together. You can have an October on the bass line and play the guitar free, you know. It's, a, it's one of the most creative guitar you can play and you can try. I'm just going to make an announcement. So any questions, uh, please leave the questions in our comment section below. Our support team will gladly answer those questions. For, for Bruno, for Mark, for Chris, for Taylor, for me. Okay. Anyway, so let's uh, let's look at some uh, let's look at some other guitars here too. Um, yeah. Why, why don't you Why don't you show us the, the next model? Uh, this one. Yes. Sure. Okay. Mostly, most of these instruments are the same guitars. Same, okay. same guitar system, except this one have a more more like a P-Bass pickup. Yeah. It looks like, because people doesn't recognize too much, this is a bass pickup. And I made it for, for tell people that is a bass line coming out. This is more a neck, which is all glossy. This one are luminance dots for help people to see it when they play. And uh, that's it, you know? And this one is the one Mark Littier using on his records. This is the one yes. Mark's using? Yeah. This is the one Mark uses. And it's white with the black pigard. Yeah. This one has a different wiring system, which in this position, this become an unbarker. And then the other three positions are like this. And, and uh, the last one is this because Mark called this guitar a funk machine. Okay. And I made it thinking about Prince, which has a violet and gold together. This is the, the first five models with the new colors. I see on Mark's guitar you have a, there's a concentric control. It just, right, you have... Oh, this is volume and volume control and tone control. This is the only one have the tone control. Bruno, thank you so so much. I'm very glad. Okay, you know what? Before we go, yeah, we'll, we'll get. Mark. Hey, Mark. Sure, sure. Come on in here. Hey, Mark. Well, there it is. Yeah. Let's talk about your guitar, Mark. Sure, man. Uh, well, I I think I heard you say I dubbed it the Funk Machine just because it made sense. It's, it's, I use baritone in sort of a non-traditional context in that I play a lot of funk and groove music on it. Uh, and so for me, I needed a guitar that coincidentally had a lot of great low end, but a nice high end snap and just reacts really well to my fingers uh, in the sense that like it's super dynamic and it's just funky. Like it's like a, it's kind of like a big Telecaster, but like its own thing, you know? And then he's got the split pickup if I want to run these to like a, different channel like with an octave pedal or something and, and then put the top three strings through a phaser and you get this really cool kind of like groove orchestra so I use these guitars all the time on all of my I, I, since I've had it I've used it on every record I've done so yeah it's awesome stuff man uh, very very cool Mark thank you so much my pleasure. okay yeah, thank you. Uh, okay we're gonna move on all right very nice right. meeting you. okay you all right thank Bruno you. thank, thank you, you so much on. all right Take care. We'll see you guys. Ciao. All right. Let's go. We're going to go over here. Come on. Wow. <laughs> wow is right. Wow. Jeez. Ah. <laughs> that was for you know who. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hi, hi, Tanya. Hello. Hi, Rob. Hi, Tanya. Good to see you again. Nice yes, hi, Tanya. You. Yeah, very nice to meet you, too. So Tanya, what do we have? What do we have here? Well, what we have here is the gold collection uh, presented by the Project of Three. Uh, the idea behind the Project of Three was that the three luthiers, uh, Adriano Sergio, Ulrich Teufel, and Michael Spalt, uh, got together. They've known each other, or we've known each other for years, um, and they've always, all of them, worked on this kind of bridging that gap between the guitar as an instrument and the guitar as an art object. And the intention is really to show that the instrument can be so much more than just a traditional shape and, and uh, that really, you know, when you think about pop, especially pop music that, you know, is connected to the electric guitar, 
it, it's such an iconic thing of you know representing freedom and and you know choice of style and everything is that the same should apply to the guitar really that you know you there's really no end to what you can do with the guitar oh, yeah. and uh, so what you see here is this year's uh, kind of expression of that sure okay let's 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 look at the maybe we'll start with with this piece here this is, uh, it's called a source gold It's by Adriano Sergio it's an art shop guitar um, really all kind of he said about it was it's like sunshine and that's really what expired you know when we talked about what theme do we we pick a theme every year that connects the guitars and so he's when we talked about it being gold he, he said well it's really the sunshine that expire it, it inspires him and so it's very shiny it's uh, very gold, very sun-like in some ways. And this is actually a, a design model that he specially created for NAMM. So it was really his, his wish to introduce this at NAMM. And then we have... Uh, yeah, let's go to this one here. Uh, it's one of his Niwas. And uh, what it really shows is a counter between the perfection of when you look at the back, um, this like perfect glossy red neck yes. combined with the imperfections of the rough uh, front and uh, the gold is kind of coming out of the center of the guitar and it's it's applied gold leaf that's not protected so Uli didn't want to go the route of the you know glossy shiny way but he said it's the gold leaf will come off as you use the guitar but because of the creases some of it will stay and uh, and with that you know it's kind of a celebration of the eternalness of gold. That's an absolutely beautiful guitar. Uh, sorry, Tanya. What what is what is the body? What is the body made of? Um, I would have to ask. I'm sorry. That, that's okay. <laughs> you got me off guard on that. One. <laughs> it's, uh, no, no. I, I did. I didn't mean that. I, I, but uh, no, no. But I'm sure it's it's definitely a great palette. For the uh, yes. for the gold there, yeah, that's that's what it is. It's the palette. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. So let's let's well, let's move on to the next one. It's called Auros. It's by my husband Michael, and um, his inspiration is when you look at the shape, um, you can. It's uh, the, for him. It's the elementalness of gold, and when you know they would wash for the gold, the gold nugget would come out in shapes like that. You know, it's all rounded and 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 rough and everything in one. And, uh, and in the holes, what you see there is gold reflecting on itself, which is a kind of shine you don't see otherwise, because you only get it when it reflects on itself. And, uh, and so he was inspired by that combination. And, uh, you know, as usual, his shapes go out there. <laughs> I'm just going to make a mention that if there are any questions for Tanya, please leave a, a uh, question in the comment section below, right? And I'm happy yeah. to do that. Yes. And and so I don't know if you wanna if you wanna look at the other guitars. Meet the builders. Sure, sure. Yeah, absolutely. That would be great. So the idea is that even though we do the project together, they're also you know individually present as builders. And so we have uh, two guitars by Michael and two guitars by Adriano. Uli unfortunately couldn't be here. Um, so Albert, Michael. He has a hard time talking. His voice keeps going in and out. That's okay. Do you wanna step in? Hello, Michael. Hi. That's Michael. I'm Rob. Good to be here. Uh, my voice is a little creakly because of the, you know, talking here and the, that's, that's okay. to the noise and all that. So, um, yeah, it's uh, that one is uh, yeah, let's, let's well, the idea of the whole. Tanya explained a bit the idea of the gold collection and uh, my comment was I like that because gold really doesn't need any explanation. Everybody gets it. It's uh, the qualities of it are so amazing. And so I did three guitars all with a gold leaf. This one is more of a art deco. We call it the ferro. As a kid, I really liked, uh, I had a phase where I was into Egyptian, ancient Egypt, and all that stuff. So it also has a little bit of an Egyptian Art Deco kind yes. of uh, vibe to it. And uh, 
the it was a little bit the idea you have the 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 elemental gold, the way it comes out when you uh, pan for nuggets. Uh, that's in its pure form, and these two guitars are more kind of like guardians in a way, the human uh, interaction with the with the material. Yeah, there's some interesting features like the even the the, the pickup design, the headstock design. Yeah. Um, anything else? Well, it's know? all about the you know the like the the tailpiece. This is a very Art Deco type of uh, of design. The whole guitar is really two parts, and they're joined by this plate. The bridge rides on it, and the tailpiece locks into it. So it's a very solid construction. And, uh, very direct total response. And, uh, when I work, I try to put, make things work together. You know, until I approach it a little bit more like art. I work on it until I feel okay. This is it. This is how it should be. And so this guitar has all these features. And the the other one there. Yeah, let's go see this one. Um, We call this Caesar because it's with a, with a leaf motif, yes. kind of like laurel, you know, the laurel crown the Caesars were wearing. And uh, you can see that it also repeats in the pickup, the carving, and also in the headstock. And it's a similar kind of concept also, although this is one piece, it does have the plate that holds the neck and the bridge. And it's a combination of materials that I like to use. Um, the aluminum has a very clear tone. The markers look very unique. Could you explain those? Um, yeah. These are actually little, I like having, it's one of the things I do is every detail, actually except for the tuners and the bridge is something that I tried to find materials and uh, things. These are actually um, cross sections of, they're used, for instance, um, sometimes on knife handles. Okay. They're cross sections of rods and tubes. And this same thing here, uh, I do, it's like a, uh, I'm not gonna say a salami, but that's essentially, you know, a slice. <laughs> It's very close to lunchtime, I know. Yeah, uh, I know. Uh, waiting for a... Do you have a question? Oh, we have a question. Always the, the question is yeah. price, cost. Maybe oh. we could talk about the ballpark or... or sure. Uh, about probably US dollars, about the piece we just saw there, the piece we saw there, maybe those three over there. Yeah, Michael, um, could you tell us what the value would be? Yeah, if, if so... Would like to purchase? These are unique pieces. Uh, each one is a little bit different. I think this one we priced at, uh, that's retail of course, uh, 14,000. That one would be 15 and that one around 20, a little bit more than 20. Um, and uh, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, we just like to give everybody an idea, yeah, what, what, a, what an art piece like this uh, is worth, you know, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Michael, thanks so much. You're right. welcome. Okay. Thank you. So, thanks, thanks so much. Thanks for talking with us. Glad to. All right. The next guy is up. Oh, Adriano? Hey. Hey, Rob. Adriano, Rob. Hello. Hey. Rob, how are yeah. you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, Adriano, let's talk about your guitars. Okay. Uh, this year, I brought it's the first time I brought arch tops, so it's my first arch top design, and I want to present it now. Yeah, let's, let's, let's have a close look. So, oh, sorry. No, no, no yeah. that's fine. So yeah. it's it's an. It's, yeah, it's it's. it's sorry, guys. That's okay. It's, yeah. it's an arch top guitar with a really traditional building. So it's one piece, the back. You know, it's it's designed for jazz, but I want to bring something new on the arch top world because usually. An arch top looks always like an arch top, yeah. and I want to make something which is my approach, but it's a jazz guitar. And um, 
you know, I have some inspirations about, you know, as usual, I like arts. It's a bit of Escher here where you can see some lines go in and out. And the, the port sound is made for the player can hear it better yes. when it's unplugged, of course, and also there's no feedbacks. It's more controlled. Can we see the back? You know, like all my carving, it looks like the neck is melted inside the body, but actually it's, that's carving. The, the neck, it's a dovetail sliding as I do all the time. And same here. Can, that's a beautiful uh, yeah. detail. That Thank you. Detail and that's carved also, it's not glued. And uh, there's a, a nice feature here, it's the tailpiece. It goes all the way okay. to the body. Oh, sorry. And you can slide it up or down to change the angle okay. of the strings. Of course, you have to lose the strings and then yeah, that'll change the go attack. that way okay. or that way. Uh, if people can ask about the grounding, the grounding is made with that fret. We touch those three strings and goes. All the strings are because of the zero fret. Yeah. So only if you break those, those three strings, then you will have noise. But that's yeah. it's quite hard. It's an ebony telepiece with bone. It's oil finishing and um, tone and volume, and um, it's a very light guitar, by the way. It's 1.8 kilos, so which I don't know how much is in uh, in pounds. Uh, it's a very open guitar. Sounds fantastic. Looks fantastic. Sounds fantastic. Actually, um, here, what, what's uh, that's those two screws are for the pickup to adjust the pickup. Right, yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Yeah. You know, I don't know what you want to ask. Well, it turned absolutely. It turned out absolutely fantastic. It looks spectacular. Thank you. I have to say. And they have the name. All the, this model have a name of the Portuguese islands, Azores, which is between the US and Portugal. Yeah. Okay. I have another one there which is the same model but the difference are it's the top it's alpine uh, alpine maple well, let's, let's go look at this one yeah Come on. Well, it's the same model it changed a little bit on the carving it's a bit more heavy a bit more tight the sound just because the top is different but uh, everything else any questions, please leave a question in the comments section below. You know what, uh, they'd love to answer questions. Adriano here would love to answer your questions. Please drop those questions. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. sorry about that. It's okay, it's fine. So I have not much to say about it. It's just the same wood, except the top. Yeah, it's a more closed sound. That one is a more open sound. Kind of more work because it's hard wood to, to work with it, but it's, it's a, same approach and I want to bring usually I bring different models to them I want to bring the same model with different woods so people can actually see the difference of the sound because of the wood same pickups some hardware some everything except the top change I like that a lot it's an upgrade you know just to turn it, turn it more organic also, you know, give some life to the... Yep. First zero fret with, as I do all the all ways, it's just a, a wood guide from the fretboard. And it's really close to the string so you can bend it and the string doesn't move yeah, yeah. on top of the fret. I've been doing that for a while. And there is a truss rod there, right? Yeah, yeah, there's a the truss rod, it's standard steel, four millimeters, two ways. It's custom made. Oh, okay. I, I made it now, but before it was from, a, I cannot tell actually, somebody. Okay. Yeah. But uh, it's very thin, so I don't take any wood more than I need. So I don't like the double truss rods, which it's a big piece of metal inside, so. I don't see the point to be careful about the wood and then just take wood to put metal, which is going to be rust 
in a few years, so yeah. I'm not agree. It's easy to put to use those trust rods, but I don't do that. I don't do that. I try to do the best as I can and choose the best materials I can. That's fantastic. Adriano, thank you so, so much. Thank Thanks you. for chatting with us. You know, like we're doing this live. This is new for us. So, you know, oh, I, 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 I tripped over there. No, I didn't trip over there, but I, this is okay. so much fun. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Guys. Are we good? Are we... So that's, that's all we were going to talk to you today, but we're going to do a lot of, you can mention, we're going to do a lot of social media stuff all day long. Yeah. There's a blog post coming, but why don't we just walk around to give our viewers a, a bit of a, a view, okay. a bit of sneak peek. But, Thank you very much. Sure, thank you. Adriano, thanks again. Thank All right. Thank All right. Cheers. All right. We're going to go walk around a little bit. Um, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Make sure Make sure to, if you have any questions. Yeah. Michael, Tanya, thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Thank you very much. All righty. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a question in the, uh, just in the, in the screen below in the question box. Yep. Our, uh, our support team would be glad to reach out to answer questions. On social media over today and tomorrow, but we might as well walk through to get a sneak peek of some of the other guitars. Yeah. So I don't know if you heard that. We're going to share a lot more photos on social media uh, over the next uh, day or two. You're going to see some awesome guitars here. We're going to go through a Boutique Guitar Showcase booth again and uh, just take a look at some okay. nice instruments. Can you cut the mute and we just Thank you. So I'm going to sign off, but uh, Taylor's going to keep going. He's he's going to show you some wicked guitars. I forgot. We're doing this again tomorrow. Oh, with Chris Martin. We're doing this again tomorrow with Chris Martin at the Martin booth. So that's right. Uh, that's a two hour. And yeah. they got tons of stuff to announce. Yeah. It'll be two hours long. I, I hear they have a. Uh, ton of stuff that they're going to be announcing, a ton of stuff that they're going to be presenting. I'm really, really excited about that one. So, yeah, uh, let's look at some guitars. Right. Mic drop. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a hot mic. You might, might want to mute it oh, now, no. Rob. Uh, How long do you want me to go around? Just, let's just walk yeah. around. Yeah. I can, I can Would you mind holding the mic, not talking into it? Because they need to hear the 
It's oh, kind of oh, weird gotcha, that it's gotcha, silent. Yeah. You just say the, the name, you know, like... JJ Guitars from the UK. Right over here. We're going to represent Canada a little yeah. bit here. Canada! Halloran Guitars. Are they from like out west or? Alejandro Ramirez guitars. Ole. Canada. Sankey guitars. 